I was at school at uh, St. Edmund's School, Canterbury. Uh, Canterbury in England. It is, of course, the centre of the Anglican Church. And the school was a school for the orphan sons of the clergy. Uh, the clergy, of course, in England are married. And sometimes the parson dies and there's not much money. And since the 18th century, uh, this school has been founded especially to educate the sons of parsons. I wasn't an, an orphan. In fact, my father was living and he wasn't even a parson. But my great uncle played golf with the headmaster and thanks to that I was accepted as a paying pupil. So I found myself with all these young orphan boys and uh, in the dormitory their favourite game was to hold church services. Uh, uh, but uh, they said to me, no, 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 you... You can't do it because your father's not a parson. So I, I suppose I was frustrated rather early in that field. <laughs> At school, I was the despair of my teachers because I was only interested in three things. Painting, acting, writing plays and producing them. I had an English master who said I should be an actor and I had an art master who said I should be a painter. But it seemed to me that at that age it was easier to earn a living as an actor than as a painter. So I decided that I would become an actor. I started my acting career in 1949. Uh, I worked in the theatre, films and television. Uh, I first uh, came to notice, really, I suppose, in Wacko with Jimmy Edwards, and after that I was in all the comedy series and shows of that time, and Harry Worth, The World of Worcester, Benny Hill, Boots and Snudge, The Avengers, Danger Man, you mentioned them, I was in, in, in all of them. Uh, you always see the same actors in those things, and I was a, a face that was known. And uh, after a bit... Uh, as a result of doing scripts that weren't terribly good, I began to think to myself, uh, perhaps uh, I could do better. So I, I started to write scripts, and uh, in 1966 I co-wrote a, a comedy series, and as I wanted to write about something I knew about, I decided to write about a bishop. And the series was called All Gas and Gators, and I had a success, lasted seven years. And uh, in 1970, I decided to buy a house in France. I saw an advertisement in the Times, a house for sale in the west of France, £2,000. Oh, I thought, that can't be bad. Uh, so I, I decided to go and see it. I took a train from Paris, and uh, I found myself, for the first time in my life, in the west of France, and uh, in that part which is known as the Marie Poitvin. The people selling the house showed me the district and a few kilometers from the house, dominating the whole countryside, there was the remains of a, a vast Benedictine abbey with what was left of the north wall and the transept of a vast cathedral. I was absolutely enchanted. Uh, I fell in love with it immediately, and uh, it was one of the reasons that I bought the house, I must say. And uh, at that time, it, it wasn't owned as it is today by the Conseil General of the Vendée, it was privately owned. The, the, family, the family who owned it, uh, the family uh, Trichero, a charming family, and uh, I got to know them, and they invited me to dinner. And over dinner, uh, the whole family started talking about the ghosts they saw in, in, in the ruins. And uh, when I got home, I started to ask myself, what sort of ghosts haunt the Abbey of Maize? And then I remembered that between 1317 and 1666, 
22 bishops of Mise followed one after the other on the episcopal throne. And the thought occurred to me that, after all, I'd written about bishops, I'd been brought up among bishops, and I would paint the bishops of Mise. And that's really how it, it all began. Because for me, one of the, the principles of my painting, one of the basic ideas, is that I, I don't paint what I see. I, I paint what I'd like to see. And I'd love to see the bishops of Mise riding bicycles, climbing trees, fighting with each other, and flying on their croziers round the remains of the clearstry of their ancient cathedral. That, that would be worth the entrance money. In 1976, the, the television was over. I was 45 years old. I'd been in the theatre from the age of 17. And uh, I decided to do something else. And I, I came out to live. I continued to write, but I'd really got nothing more to say. And every time that I got stuck, I started to do a picture. And I thought, well, there's, there's a message here. There's, there's something that I should listen to. And then I started to study painting properly, form and colour, and go into the thing properly. When I discovered the bishops of Mise, I discovered at the same time all the, the legends and myths which belonged to that part of France. And Francois Rabelais, who was secretary to one of the bishops, and uh, who wrote about uh, Melusine, 